Well, today has been a very special day. I had a visit from my greenhouse people. Whoopee! And they came today to fit it at last. So now I'm gonna give you the big reveal. Here she is. Full effect. rather large at the moment in comparison to the rest of the plot. I, I can't quite get my head round it all. She's a 6 by 10 greenhouse with a section on the left hand side there dug out for things like cucumbers and tomatoes. It's in a sort of pewter greeny colour uh, metal with two lots of staging there inside for me to put all my stuff and all my seedlings. I'm about to have a couple of days off because I'm going away. So when I'm back, it's going to be back to graft, finishing that second, uh, sorry, central section of decking and also filling that beautiful greenhouse. Hello there. Well, it's uh, Saturday the 12th of May and Isla and I are back down the garden. We've had a tricky few days, um, the last few days. Our poor little dog Munchkin became very poorly uh, in the beginning of the week and has been in and out of the vets all week but I'm pleased to report he's recovering but it has meant that my nemesis, the decking, has still not been touched. So uh, today we're going to do some planting out. We've got some tomato plants that need to go in the bigger pots in the greenhouse. Also some radishes to get out there. I won't be doing the um, decking until Isla's back at school um, but uh, yeah should be a good day for it. it's nice and warm not too hot so let's get started so what we've done this morning is take the netting off the potatoes and we have soiled up over the potato plants yeah. adding some compost as you can see some of them are already a little bit large so i don't know whether they'll yeah, go to flower they are quite large yes they are and then in the middle what did we mix on the top of the in the center section Isla? Uh, uh, no. manure we mix that with compost we've got little holes ready and some bean canes ready for our broad beans to go out but because they haven't been outside the greenhouse yet we're going to acclimatize them tonight and leave them outside here so yeah all exciting stuff i have a raft of thank yous to announce in this episode so let's get started the first big thank you goes to old friend sarah ridge from brighton in the uk thank you so much sarah for your kind donation the next thank you is to a lady called Glenis Higgins, who is a friend of my uncle's in uh, Canada. And Glenis sadly lost her husband to pulmonary fibrosis about five years ago. And so she also uh, raises money through charities like the British Lung Foundation in the hope that one day there can be better treatments or even a cure for this awful disease. So thank you Glenis for your kind donation. I really, really do appreciate it. The next thank you goes to my neighbours Chris and Liz Taylor. They have observed me working in so all sorts of dreadful conditions over the winter months but have continued to support me. So thank you both for your kind donation. The other thing we've done today is move all the seedlings down to the new greenhouse. So let me just give you a quick tour. Crikey. Find somewhere to put my tools. Um, so here on the right hand side is Cosmos seedlings. Uh, there's my rather battered broccoli that was in the porch. Here's some parsley, doing quite nicely. All the way around the back here in sort of an L shape is the sternums. And here is some carrot and some spinach. That's all germinated very quickly. Down below here we've got some coriander, it took a while to come through, uh, it's from very old seeds but uh, it's, you know, it's looking quite reasonable now, so keeping that going. 
Um, in the, left in this tray is some Brussels sprouts that aren't too leggy, so that's cool. Some aquilegias which have struggled. Uh, around the top here, these have only been in about a week, are uh, some sweet corn seeds are just starting to germinate. Here's the bane of my life, my cucumbers. Not sure whether they're going to survive, but hey ho. Then, ooh, oh, these are Black Beauty aubergines, looking good. Calan calendulas flowers there, and then finally the butternut squashes, all looking good. Yes. And then here's our tomatoes now in big pots. Well, apart from that one. Well, we that, got that, big that pot. one has the biggest one ever. It does. The next big thank you goes to my big sister Julie. Thanks, Jules, for your support during this challenge and for your lovely donation. The next big thank you goes to my uncle and aunt um, from Canada in Toronto, Pete Gorrell and Jude Edie. Thank you so much for your support throughout this project. You've really spurred me on uh, with your continued comments and uh, encouragement. So thank you very much for that and also for your great donation. The next big thank you of the day goes to an old school friend, John Lindsay from Tudor Grange. Thanks a lot, John, for your donation. I really appreciate it. Hooey! It's another hot one today. Before I get started though, let's carry on with a few more thank yous. The first one goes to my cousins, Lucy and Helen Cottrell, and their dad, my uncle Graham Cottrell. And thank you so much for your donations and your support. The next thank you goes to John Hopper. John was a high jumper coached by my dad for quite a long time and thank you John for your generous donation. The next thank you goes to Margaret Daniels. Margaret used to work with my dad at Solihull Council so thank you very much Margaret for your kind donation. What I've done so far is get two pieces of wood, screw them together to make the feet and now I'm going to attach them to the bottom frame. Doug's um, drilled some pilot holes there and then I'm just going to attach four sets of legs to the frame and then start putting the decking around the outside edge. Well so far things are going to plan. Um, I've just had to pop inside to get some sun cream on because it's getting really hot. But um, yeah, still just cutting the timber posts behind me with the saw. Uh, I've got two lots of legs in place already. Just got to get the other two on. And then I just need to build and fit the inside of the frame. The next big thank you goes to an old friend of mine, Lee Bold. Thanks Lee for your brilliant donation. The next shout out goes to a new friend of mine, Mr Stuart Spires. Thank you Stuart for your generous donation. Final shout out today goes to some old friends of uh, my dad's, Jeff and Paul. 
Uh, Jeff Parsons was a former UK high jumper and was coached by my dad and ever since then remained fantastic friends. So thank you both to Jeff and Paul for your generous donation. The next thank you goes to my cousin Tara Campbell, all the way from British Columbia in Canada. Thank you Tara and Mike for your generous donation. The next big thank you goes to a lady called Olivia Guglia. Thank you Olivia for your lovely donation. The next thank you goes to somebody who I went to primary school with uh, 30 plus years ago. It always surprises me and shocks me that uh, I guess through the powers of social media that people from your childhood are able to see what you're up to now in later life and are able to donate to charitable causes like this. So to Paula Whitmore, who used to be Paula Biswas, thank you very much for your kind donation. I really appreciate it. There is something immensely satisfying about finishing a project as big as this. Today is Saturday the uh, 19th of May, it's the Royal Wedding today. I've already watched it on the TV, it was great fun. And I've just come back to enjoy some sunshine in my garden. It's all finished now, there's my loungers in place. The sun has just gone down, it's about five o'clock in the afternoon and um, yeah just really walking around having a good nose at what I've managed to achieve and put together as part of this project for action for pulmonary fibrosis. Um, I've raised an awful lot of money which I'm incredibly grateful for and um, yeah I think my dad would have been pretty proud of this so cheers to everybody, enjoy your weekend and see you soon.